welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you guys how i um used watercolor to dye my hair this color um before we get into this video do not forget to like comment and subscribe and we're gonna get right into this okay you guys so here is the watercolor bottle the color is 90 lavender by adore All right, you guys, so now I'm just pouring the um, color into the water. And by the way, my water was like a little bit warm. Um, the bottle doesn't really say because it's really for you to dye your actual hair, but um, I just put it in warm water and mixed it. Yeah, I was really hyped to do this, just ignore me. <laughs> um, so you just mix it around until all the pieces have dissolved because um, if you have pieces it's definitely gonna be um, like darker spots than others so just make sure you guys mix it Yeah, I was really enjoying this. Like, look at me. And let's talk about my skin, because my skin is getting back to normal. And I'm hyped. Like, I'm wearing no makeup in this. But anyways, so now I grabbed a wig, and I'm just going to test out, like, a piece of the hair, just to see if it takes. So I took, like, a piece in the middle, and I'm just putting, like, half of it in there, just to see if it turns. all right you guys so i noticed that it didn't really take as uh, well as i wanted it to so i just added more hair and then um not more hair i added more um dye and then i mixed it more and did the same thing that i did before All right, so after you're done stirring, not me tapping the spoon like I'm cooking. Oh no. <laughs> All right, so after you're done um, mixing, you just dip. Um, I dipped the hair in again just to see if it was darker. And it did come out darker. So, and as you guys can kind of see, I tried to show you guys, but I was literally doing this on my dresser. <laughs> Ghetto, yeah, I know. Um, I don't have a desk, so I was doing it on my dresser. All right, so now we're dipping the whole wig in so i put the whole wig in there and um i used a spoon you'll see later on that i used a brush like to try to get everything in but there was so towards the end you'll see um, I show you guys that there was some parts of this hair that didn't take the dye like at all um, I even like directly put the dye on the hair and like tried to mush it in there it just was not working All right, 
So as y'all can see, I am just mixing my hair around. I'm trying to get every single piece because I could see like as I was doing it that you, I mean that you, I could see that um, every like strand of hair was not turning. So um, I'm just messing with it, trying to make sure every piece is covered. Um, and that's basically what I'm gonna do for like the rest of this video. Alright, so I started to like seriously notice that like some of the strands were not taking, so I tried to add more as you guys can see right here. Um, and the bottle was basically like almost empty, so I was like, sheesh, what am I gonna do? But um, it just seemed as though like the hair really wasn't taking, so no matter how much dye I put in there or um, watercolor, whatever I put in there, it just was not taking, so. Um, but luckily, it was the back part, like literally underneath, like where my neck is at that part that wasn't taking like in front of it though was covered so you kind of really can't even see it but um so yeah that's basically the only problem i had doing this so All right, so here's where I grabbed the brush because um, I was like, I really want to try to like get this color everywhere. So this is where I took the brush at and tried to brush it through. Um, as I was brushing it though, I could see like that it was taking in some spots. And then it started getting like darker in some spots and I was like, sheesh, well, um, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but I just kept going. And then like the actual tracks itself um are blonde still so like that didn't turn just literally the hair turned All right, so once I was done, I grabbed the towel and I just patted it dry or squeezed it dry. I then took a blow dryer and just blow dried it so that I could put it directly on my head. Um, so that's basically it and you guys will see the rest of the video, so keep on watching. So I honestly, like to be completely honest, I did not think I was gonna like this because I, never had purple hair like i'm afraid of going upstairs right now because my parents are probably gonna look at me like i'm crazy but um i honestly don't think this is that bad like this is actually kind of cute and because i'm like darker skin i really didn't think this was gonna look good all right so that concludes my video i really hope you guys enjoyed this this was the final look of this um tutorial um these baby hands just please ignore that i know it looks crazy I tried to like um, use the, um, the tinted lace spray, but it's still it's just not for me. I'm not even sure why I did that to myself. But like, if you don't like that part, like everything else is bomb. Just um, but yeah, I actually really like this, and I really didn't think I was going to. But um, thank you guys so much for your watching, um, and do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in my next video.